boy, welcome to T's Multiverse. I'm your host, Tyrus, and just yeah, call me blown away. Uh, yeah, we're going to talk about this uh, Masters of the Universe Revelation teaser um, that's just dropped. I'm <laughs> just, <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I, you know, if you're new to this channel, I am like the biggest He-Man fan. Like I, 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 he was my hero that I, my first hero as a kid that I like fell into. And he was, he was also like some, uh, someone who I was able to collect as a kid. I was able to pretty much get like. Uh, pretty much the the when they dropped the figures, I was able to get that collection. I was fortunate enough to be able to get that collection. Um, you know, um, my parents they, they they surprised me with it and everything, and I was just like, I was just blown away, man. I was playing with those things all day and all night long, and I was known in the neighborhood as the guy with the He Man collection. You know, um, all the kids would try to trade their Star Wars figures for some of my He Man stuff, uh, but that wasn't happening. Uh, but I was so fortunate enough and I, I talked my mom into buying me the figures because she liked the fact that they came with the little books. So that got me into reading and all that stuff like that. Um, but this, this teaser is just, you know, I, I watched, you know, Castlevania season four which was absolutely phenomenal if and check my review on that and in my mind i'm going as i'm watching the action sequences in castlevania which was some of the, the greatest action sequences I've, that i've ever seen in my life in animation from that castlevania season four season uh series um i'm thinking in my mind i i need to see this with the he-man series i need just a little bit i need some i need to see this if i see this i'm going to lose my mind and <laughs> this teaser trailer gave me that and that because at first when I saw I was I heard that the teaser trailer dropped I was like well uh, you know they're just gonna show like some lightning and you know they're gonna show He-Man you know in front of Castle Grayskull or something like that they're gonna just give us something to chew on for a little bit no they gave us a full out blown just I I think it's a trailer they say teaser but it just seems more like a trailer and it seemed and it gave us so much in that of what a minute and 20 something seconds or whatnot you got so much you were hit with so much but you wanted more so they did what they want they did accomplish what they want to accomplish because everybody everyone all over the world every youtuber I, everything i've seen everybody's wanting more and they're just blown away by you know what we've gotten with this it's just like we live in the world now where we're getting like all of these 80s properties coming back whether in figure form and or with the animation and it's just out so it's just it's just a, astonishing you know to just see what we're getting right now and to see he-man realized in this animation this is powerhouse animation uh, the same people who did uh, Castlevania, and it's just like, it just looks, it's it's just ridiculously beautiful. I mean, the colors and just everything, and you know, I touched upon this in my review of like the, the images that we got uh, from the Entertainment Weekly article. Um, I'll leave the link in the description for that one. And I was just blown away by like just how they were able to manage the animation and the colors they chose and just the backdrops i mean everything just it just beckons back to the original he-man system series but yet uh on steroids it's it's basically this series is the 80s cartoon and the 2000x cartoon because people don't need to they don't need to sleep or forget about that 2000x cartoon because basically this series is 2000x on steroids you know, it's 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 really like it's it's 2000x with a blend of extra 4K and all that good. I mean, it's just like, man, it's just amazing. I mean, I don't even know where to start. All I, all I want to say is that I hope this series is good. I know there's been some mumblings about, you know, how He Man may take a back back seat to Tilla, how they might go a little woke with this series. I'm gonna I'm gonna stay as positive as I can. Um, 
that last image, as I mentioned in my previous video, when I when they dropped that Entertainment Weekly article, that last image with Tila and and Oracle and that new what well, I forgot the other girl name and and Evelyn, that kind of worried me, and that's the one that has everyone a little worried. But again, that could not be anything. It could be something. Who knows? I'm trying my hardest to be as positive as I can about this thing because I want it to be good but I know the world that we live in they like to ruin these IPs with foolishness and um, but I, right now I'm gonna focus on this trailer and what I hope it will be I'm hoping we get a great He-Man series with a lot of with some action great storytelling great dialogue you know I don't need it to be action all the way through if you give me great dialogue great story you know interesting you know, plot twists, devices, everything, I'm fine. I'm cool. Like, you know, um, but man, we're gonna we're gonna be treated to like a a huge action sequence at the beginning of this of this 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 uh series. I, I just I know that and I feel that. I feel, you know, we got we saw a lot of that in this teaser, like we saw it in um I just like what we saw in terms of like all of the different characters, you know, um they didn't pull any punches. You know, we got, um, it's funny how Big Bad released, and it's sold out by now, folks. I don't, I don't even know, if I don't, you know, whether I should put the, the link in the description or not. But they they put on sale, I think it was Monday, the Royal Guards. And it was a, it was a Big Bad Toy Store exclusive. And uh, they it's sold out now. But it's funny how they put that out, and then we got the trailer today on it was like monday trail out there today and you see the royal guards in the trailer uh i saw clamp did the picture i just went when i saw clamp champ i was like cheering like a little kid uh i, I love clamp champ yeah clamp champ fisto you know and tila running into battle with the royal guards men behind them um that oh, man that's that 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 was just so awesome it's just like um you just get to see all of these things that you remember as a kid growing up and um, just blown away by just seeing the, them within this animation. And, you know, you get to see uh, man at arms, you know, do his thing, um, you know, with his, with his tech uh, trap jaw. You get to see all the vehicles, Stridor, he man, he was riding on Stridor, the mechanical horse, you know, um, just uh land shark we got to see lit the land shark there's some other another vehicle where he man just basically took the the mace this huge mace and just threw it like it was a piece of paper i forgot the name of that that vehicle then there was another one they had showcased them I and they were showcasing all types of sky sleds and just um you see all the different characters triclops skeletor i mean you just you got it all in that trailer they, they basically said hey here's, here's a little Here's a love letter to the fans of the this property. Um, but when I saw two of my boys, um, Fisto and, and, and Clamp Champ running, man, I was just like, okay, this 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 is ridiculous. You got to see Roboto. Um, Orko looks a little weird. You know, I don't know what's going on with work, Orko. Um, but that scene was pretty bad that he was in. I don't know if we're going to get a different, more serious Orko in this series. Let me know in the comments, how do you feel about that? I mean, you feel like, that's something is that type of Oracle you want. I thought he was a little too much too goofy. Um he caused a little bit a little too much trouble, mischief. So if he if they change him up a little bit to where he's a little bit more serious, I don't know if I, I don't think I'd be mad about that. I don't think I'd that bother me, you know. Um I really don't. Um I just his look, he looks a little I don't know what's going on with him. We'll see. It's gonna be interesting to see how they handle these characters. Um, in this series, but I feel like I'm gonna tell you straight up. This is what I feel like is gonna happen I feel like the first episode or two we're gonna get Classic masters of the universe and then from then on there everything is gonna go to hell and he man is gonna lose They're going to be scattered and then that's when I hope the foolishness doesn't fall into place all the, the you know what we've doing what they've been doing with a lot of these properties, the identity politics. Hopefully, hopefully we won't go there, but hopefully, I feel like everyone's going to be scattered. And if you deal with it the right way, if you deal with it properly, it could work. 
But we'll just have to see. We'll have to see. But I know Skeletor is going to win. He's going to win like Thanos. He's going to win. And then the heroes are going to have to regroup. Um, I just don't want that this series to turn this to turn into the Taylor series because nobody's watching this for Taylor, not just for Taylor. I'm sorry, like it's just this is a this is He Man's story, you know. And if you do that, then you're gonna turn off a lot of fans. So you can guarantee that season two, you know, we got like so. This is gonna be separated. Uh, two parts that are going to be that are going to have five episodes. July twenty third is when this thing drops. So we get five episodes on July twenty third, and we're going to part two with another five. Um, they haven't announced that date, but we will get that um, hopefully um, released soon too as well. So, um, but um, this 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 is this is good uh, for for what I for what I've gotten so far. I'm going to take this and I'm going to enjoy it. You know, and um, as far as like my, you know, all our fears and what we hope is not, you know, the best we can do is just appreciate what we got right now and then see what happens down the road and, and call it a day, you know. But I know that they will lose and they're going to have to regroup, you know. Now, how they deal with it is that's the prop. That's the thing that we have to, you know, hope, hope for the best. How they deal with this, you know, how they deal with the loss, how they treat He-Man, how they treat the other heroes. You know, or whatnot, because Taylor is an, an amazing character in her own right. So you don't have to, you know, devalue or belittle all of the other heroes to elevate her. If you try that old trick, it's going to backfire on you, Hollywood. It's going to backfire. It's been done. It's been tried over and over again. Don't do that. So um, hope they don't do that. But this this trailer was absolutely phenomenal. I have watched this trailer over and over again. I can't like get enough. Um, of seeing my boy He-Man just be He-Man and look amazing and all of the other characters. Tila looks awesome. Tila, the leader of the Royal Guard, she's awesome in her own right, man-at-arms. Everyone did their thing in this trailer. I'm excited. July 23rd couldn't get, cannot, cannot get here soon enough. The figures are going to fly off the shelves. You know, um, I know I had my, my issues with how He-Man's face looked, but... You know, <laughs> after this trailer, uh, yeah, this th these figures are gonna fly off the shelves. You know, they're gonna they're gonna sell. You know, and um, that battle cat that they have for this this series um, is the best battle cat that we've ever had before. Um, this thing transforms into Cringer and Battle Cat. So um, I'll leave a link in the description on the, the, for those characters. Um, but yeah, this this is awesome. Um, so. Uh, July 23rd, folks, uh, we got it. And we have what Mark Hamill is going to be Skeletor. It wasn't Skeletor. Kevin Conroy, the Batman is going to be versus Merman. Michelle Geller, who uh, was Buffy, a.k.a. the Buffy Vampire Slayer. She's going to be Teela, voicing Teela. We have uh, Chris Wood. He will be voicing both um, Adam, Prince Adam, as well as He-Man. And then we have Susan Eisenberg. Who's gonna kill it as the sorceress? The, I, I, that's the voice. The first voice, voice that we heard was her, and I was like, "There it is!" And it's just, it's so perfect. Like that was the, that was to me the best casting, uh, that I've seen so far. All of the castings are pretty awesome. The voice act, the voice cast they have is just, uh, just uh, awesome voice cast, uh, stellar voice cast, uh, casting that they've um, got for this series. But you know, um. Susan Eisenberg as sorcerers was, was definitely spot on. Mark Hamill is going to destroy this as Skeletor. Um, I'm looking forward to hearing Cameron Conroy versus Merman. I, I I cannot wait to hear that. I just I want to see how he attacks that. I uh, really do. Really, really, really. And um, Phil Lamar, uh, I think he's voicing yeah Hero. It's gonna be interesting to see what. Uh, they do it that, but I look forward to that. But overall, the voice casting uh, is just going to be stellar. So um, let me know in the comments. Let, let me know what you think. I mean, are you excited for this this series? Um, did this trailer get you pumped? Um, have you er ever heard about He-Man? Have you ever heard of this these characters before in your life? Um, please let me know in the comments. I look forward to hearing, um, not hearing, but reading um, your comments. And uh, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Again, thank you all for your support. Any and everyone who tunes in, I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you so very much. 
Um, and uh, like, share, subscribe, hit that bell notification. And until next time, be good to one another, be safe, stay tuned, and remember, I have the power.